Hello, it's me LaToya from The Profit Room and this video is going to be a reminder about not every day is a home run. As you can see here, we have a $257.16 gain, not comparable to what we normally post on a daily basis, but at the same time, it's better than a loss. The market today, the open, not much range, a lot of sidewaysness. So we took what we seen, and the first thing we saw that worked was PG. We took it short into the first line of support. We were able to get a nice 50 cents per share move here, give or take. Now we'll go into what did not work. Facebook, we went long. It was just a matter of timing here. We went long into this peak. Oh no, yes, yeah, so we went long into the top and you can see it did a nice pullback. And this is where it actually broke out. So hindsight, we did not focus this focus back on this one once again. But if we took another breakout around 172, all would have went well after about 11 p.m. Eastern time. Now we can visually see it started to form an inverted head and shoulders and up it went. What also did not work? QCOM short. So QCOM, we shorted right into this peak here. 63.78 was the trigger point, no follow through. We cut the trade around $63.94. So we cut the trade right into here, even before it hit our stop loss. Originally, we gave QCOM as a buy point right around here. We wanted to take it long around 64.14. This is when it was fiddling here, but you can see it dropped. So once it dropped, we canceled the trade. We observed the little channel, and then we try to go short, thinking that it would retest the support from this morning. It never did. You can see the breakout way past our initial entry, and then it gave a nice trend higher in that direction. So that was QCOM, and that was the loss we recorded for today. And that was all the trades taken. Now, we noted CAT. This was my fumble, personally. I gave CAT, mentioned it numerous times, trying to break this nice line of resistance here. All we had to do was take it long around $142.90, but I never gave the official alert to go long along with the stop. So no one, I believe, took the trade. I just mentioned it on a mic. Usually we tell them we're getting in and also we write that inside the chat pane so you know that the trade is definitely official. Biggest regret of the day because you see this thing trended all the way to almost, almost $145. So that's a dollar plus, a dollar and 50 cents per share if you look at CAT and that could have been the difference in our P&L for today. Anyways, we accept the $257.16 is all right, is better than a loss. So just remember, not every day is a home run day. Another quick thing. So last trading day of July, we had another solid month. You could go back in our um, track record. You will see how we perform day in, day out, in the week, etc., and so forth. But it is the last day, July 31st. The last trading day of the month happens to be the last day for our sale as well. So this sale ends today. You get a huge discount savings on trading live with us in the equity room. is equivalent to having too much free. Well, the breakdown price is about $65 a month if you want to do the math that way. Same thing with the swing alerts. Now, you know we're heavy hitters when it comes to swing trades. This is how myself, along with the rest of the team who have Roth IRAs, this is how we grow our retirement accounts into the large accounts that it currently is. And we also help small accounts grow as well. So it's not always about big money. So we keep our stops tight. So we have a nice risk to reward ratio going with our swing trade alerts, we also provide futures, one futures alert, as well as one forex pair alert for the week. So you get alerts every Sunday. So awesome deal here. And I will go into one of our alerts, not to make this video long winded, but 
an alert that we provided for um, this Sunday, this past Sunday. So I was short, STX short, beautiful alert. And I'll just show you based on the daily because this has pretty much already hit our target. We wanted a nice uptick entry, which we received um, for this trade. We got triggered in on this day and basically it's nearing our profit taking area. I believe everyone already started to scale out around $52. We have our first target to about $51.60. So if you look at the lows, it's about, let's say, 40 to 50 cents from, from actually hitting that target. But this was one of our shorts for the week. Now let's get into our futures pick, which happens to be soybean long. We wanted to take this long around $29.05 first exit, which is good money. It was $29.50. Not quite there yet, but if you do the math with the tick per value, this is over a couple of hundred bucks already as it is for the day. So remember, $99 a month versus you can make like three to four hundred a day and one of our futures pick is a no-brainer when it comes to the math. And we're proud of the services we do provide over here at theprofitroom.com. So just remember, if you wanted to join the team, today's the last day for this huge sale. So i like to say to everyone, trade safe. And remember, the trend is your friend. All right, everyone.